Hey guys, um, sorry I didn't get a video up yesterday. Not really sure, I'm trying to remember what happened yesterday. I don't know, I just didn't get one up. <laughs> but today, um, I just wanted to do a little quick video. I'm so super excited because, um, tomorrow is planting day. Yay! So we get to plant the garden. Um, I'm usually, Arlen helps me a little. Um, get the beds ready, and then I, well, he helps me a lot get the beds ready, but then I actually do the planting. Um, this year, I'm going to need help with planting because I can't. <laughs> I'm so huge. I don't know if I've shown you guys lately my stomach, but here, let's see if I can do this. Do, do, do. Yeah. It's like massive torpedo, so it's really hard for me to get down on the ground and do much of anything, so, um... Yeah, he's going to be helping a lot. Samuel will be helping. We might have some other people come over and help us. But I thought I would take a minute and... Sorry, the lighting's awful. Eee, there we go. Show you guys what our plans are for the garden this year. And, you know, Timothy might come tomorrow. I'm not really sure what to expect. I don't know how well the garden will be taken care of. But every year I learn something new. Um, this year I've learned a lot about... Um, seed starting and I've had really really better success than I've ever had and um, have really healthy seedlings to plant this year so that's super exciting so even if everything else goes bad I've learned that <laughs> but um, I will go ahead and flip the camera around and I will show you what we're doing in our garden this year <laughs> okay here's my crazy garden bed and basically this is just a diagram to show me what goes in each bed. We have six raised beds. Excuse me. Three of them are four by eight, and three of them are three by eight. So this just gives me kind of a general what's in the beds. And then these are more specific. So I don't know if you can see that, but this is a four by eight bed, and I'm going to have some yellow squash and some spaghetti squash and there's three plants per hill here so that'll give me lots of squash and then cucumber and zucchini and um, the same here you know these are hills you plant more so you get tons and then around the edges these are all things that I'm planting for either um, pest control or um, or to help um, they're companion plants, so they're going to help these plants in some way, whether it be pest control or adding something in the soil needed. But I'm going to have some oregano. Um, some, I don't know how to say this flower. It's an edible flower. It's nastritidum. I just call them nasts. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're called. But if you know how to pronounce that, please, please tell me because I don't know. But these are edible flowers, and they're really good for pest control. And then marigolds. And then I'm just going to plant those all around the perimeter and then here in this bed this is my melon bed and this might actually change a little bit I had planned on doing one watermelon and one musk melon and then some or some of the same um, or oregano and then the two flowers some marigolds and the nests whatever's um, around the edges for pest control but I might change that up a little bit and I might try and squeeze two watermelons in here because I'm doing a sugar baby watermelon, they're smaller and don't produce as much, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to see. And then, this bed is going to have, I always plant pepper, tomato, and basil together because they all, I never really have any problem with pests when I do it that way. They all grow really strong and healthy, and they really help the flavor of each other, and it works really well. So. I'm going to have peppers and basil and then tomato. And in this one, I'm going to put an eggplant and have more pepper and basil and tomato. And I'm doing Arkansas Traveler tomatoes, um, Genevieve sweet basil. We use the basil for pesto. That's why we grow so much. <laughs> and then the peppers I do are Jimmy Nardello sweet peppers. They're not bell peppers. Um, I like these so much better. They're better for stir fries. They're really good fresh. They're very sweet. They freeze really well. They're, they're harder to grow. Um, but I really like them. And then this is our second tomato bed. And we do so many tomatoes because I hope to be canning and, um, saving some of them because we use lots of canned tomatoes and tomato sauces and things. So we have eight tomatoes in this bed and then 
these are our peppers and these are all basil so that'll be good and then this bed is my experimental bed I usually have one experimental bed every year that I just kind of play with and do stuff um, but I have bush beans growing here and then I'm gonna do okra here and okra goes really tall but we have hot summers so peas don't usually grow well because there's too much sun it's too hot so once the okras have grown and get up a little ways I'm gonna put two trellises here and um, plant some peas and hopefully the okra will shade them a little bit so I'm not sure we'll see how that <laughs> goes and then um, I'm gonna do that on both sides and then here I'm gonna try um, putting tomato cages up here and again we have the same problem with spinach it's too hot so it doesn't grow well so I'm gonna grow some pole beans green beans these are bush beans and and which I have really good luck with and then I'm gonna try some pole beans here so as they climb start climbing up and growing up the um, trellises I'll plant a spinach plant in each one of these and see if that shades them enough so I don't know, that's what I'm trying. We'll see how that works. And then the last bed um, is just potatoes, and I didn't do a separate thing for it because um, basically I'll fill the bed with potatoes, and then they don't stay in super long, and we'll kind of um, do some bush beans here and there to fill in the gaps and to... Um, to come after the potatoes because bush beans add a lot of nitrogen in the soil they grow really fast these are green beans um, they grow really fast usually I'll after the second harvest I just pull them up and start over again because they start producing less and they grow so fast and you get so many beans um, so this will start with potatoes and then I'll do beans and then I might do another round of potatoes in the fall we will see but that is that bed so that's kind of what I'm looking at for the garden this year. And then on the front deck, I have strawberries. And um, I will be planting a huge pot, trying to do carrot. I have not had any success at all with carrots in the ground. So I'm going to try them potted on the front deck. I think it's just too hot. Um, and I'm also doing, I have a hard time with lettuce as well because it's so hot. So I'm trying that on the front deck too because there's a little more shade there. And... Um, I have three pots that are tiered and I'll just kind of rotate out so that we kind of always have a lettuce crop. So that is the garden for this year. I'm super, super excited about it. Um, I, I think gardening is just so much fun and because I love cooking so much, I mean it's just really fun to grow what you're cooking and know that it is organic. You're not using any herbicides or pesticides. I try and use heirloom tomatoes and organic, I mean heirloom and organic seeds as much as possible and hopefully this year I can save my own pepper seeds which will be really fun and anyway I'm just I'm excited so <laughs> that is all for today and maybe tomorrow if I think about it we'll bring you on bring you along a little bit as we do the planting I hope you guys are having a good day bye